Welcome to a new video by DJ SPRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. But again, before we continue, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check their website, it's awesome. Now we have a chassis that's fully built. Yes, it is missing the cover here, but I can't put it for the moment because I need to add my motor. That's going to be a little bit later on. But if we flip the chassis upside down, now we're going to go do step 35, installing the front axle with the links and our drive shafts. Now I'm just looking here to make sure everything aligns. That's perfect. These guys here, I'm going to do once the physical axle is in, they're going to be less, it's going to be less hard to do. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to pop in your axle. These two long guys go in the middle here in between the dry shaft. And you'll notice your link goes in this in between your rail and that's the first one I'm going to do simple reason it's just the way it's it's less in your in your in your way there we go and for this guy here we basically need a 118 the 118 is the the longest one again you can verify with your book That's one thing I love about Axial. <clears throat> you go through the chassis and you're visiting the physical transmission mount, motor mount. What I was saying about what I love about Axial, their physical book itself, every screw that's on the, on the side here will be the actual size of the screw that you need. Now I'm going to put it this way here. Going to insert this guy here. This guy here are basically the 117. I'm just going to clean my end here. That I didn't do earlier that I should have. There we go. You'll notice sometimes they are they are hard to put in. Depending what you do. <clears throat> Flip on the other side. Again, I didn't clean my ends. Insert my screw in. These guys here, I don't want to do with my driver. They're super easy to strip. Here they tell you to put your drive shaft. I'm going to wait a couple for doing that. Here they, they ask me to put my shocks, but I'm just going to jump one step ahead to 38. And I want to install my pan hard. And my pan hard is another 117. This guy here. Now you guys can't really see it here. But I'll show you once it's uh, screwed in. The pan hard's right here. That's the bar that keeps everything stable. Now we're going to go back to the other page. And let's do our shocks. Now, if you remember in your shocks, yellow is front. I have the shocks here. I'm going to look for the yellow sign. There's one right here. This is white. Yeah, the yellow is right here. 
these are the screws we need. They show you the first holes forward. And then they screw in the sides right here. I'm going to do my top one first. Again, making sure not to strip it. I'm not going to go f completely in. I'm going to le leave it loose a bit. And once the vehicle is a physically a roller, I'll come around and tighten these guys up. Now, I'm going to insert in the shock first. And try to keep the axle straight. <clears throat> and screw in my screw here. Oop. Turn the axle that way. It's not in my way. Now, if you're trying to rebuild a vehicle, you don't have the manual. Again, the manual you can find on axial.com. For, this is an ACX-10. If, if you don't have an ACX-10 and it looks similar to an ACX-10, you could try to look up copies of ACX-10. You'll be able to find the brand name of your vehicle and be able to download the manual on the manufacturer of your model itself. There's a lot of companies out there basically copied axials. And there we go. Now there's one step I'm going to jump in this book. I'll show you once I'm finished the physical front shock here is the servo servo mount I'm going to physical weight before doing this guy because I'm not ready to install my servo yet and then it would be step 37 here uh, where to ask you to put it on the arm but I'm not going to do this right away now what we're going to do is we're going to do our dry shaft. We're going to grab our metal bar or link. Now I'm going to turn the axe, the center diff to have the, the hole straight. Remove this guy here and try to align it at the same time now you'll need to remove your front for your front screw but the screw in one of the past videos when i built the, the physical drive shafts that way you don't lose it i'll remove it use a driver to align it everything's aligned Insert my screw. There we go. Liner all the way in. Make sure this is. And we have our front end installed. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's here in the corner here somewhere. Beside it, there's a bell notification. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified next time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.